Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how you can create a variable product inside WooCommerce. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Once you're inside your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to products and then add new or just head over to products and then all products. So I have some pre-made products by WooCommerce, as you might be able to see here. Now, if you scroll to the top, we have the option to add new. So head over and do so. Once you're adding a new product, what you want to do is set the name of the product and then add the description, add the short description, add some images, whether it's the product image, the product gallery, and then also categorize it. And if you want to add some tags, I'll be doing it right now. As you can see here, I've given a name for this product, cool t-shirt. I've generated some demo text for this t-shirt. It's a very simple text. I took it from ChatGPT. I just told him to create some product description, and then I've created the short description as well as I've added the product image, product gallery I don't have yet for this product then i have some clothing and t-shirt as the categories and then the product tags are deadpool as we might be able to see here we have deadpool on this shirt when we getting to the variable product what you want to do is under the product data just select the variable product yes it will start by adding attributes okay we're gonna get into it now if you missed my full tutorial on how to create a simple product in woocommerce it will be popping up right now on your screen where it's going to be on your right top hand corner or or on your left. Now, as you might be able to see here, we have attributes and we have variations. For the attributes, we'll have to configure them because I don't have attributes yet. So we'll start and configure them from scratch. What I would not recommend you to do is do the old fashioned way, which is adding here the name and then adding here manually, because this, first of all, won't be generated automatically. It would just simply won't do anything. But with WooCommerce, upgrading it now it will but for the sake of this tutorial i will show you how to do that in a very very simple and fast way so it will save you time in the future what we want to do is head over to attributes open it in a new tab then close this right over here under attributes as you might be able to see here we have name so let's name it color and then under the slug something will do color now you can also enable archives i usually do and here default sorting order i usually do it by custom ordering then you'll be able to manage the ordering of those attributes just drag and drop them as you might be able to see right in a few minutes so custom ordering then add attribute you have also the options to do by name name numeric if they're numeric attributes and then term id so we have created our first attribute color now let's configure some terms inside the terms configuration we have the product color and then we have the add new color because this is the name of the attribute so we'll add some name slugs and description if you want to so let's say we'll do here red and then the slug would be the same it would be red and then add new color as you might be able to see here color added and then we're able to see here right in this table we're able to see here the count how many of the red attributes are being assigned to products and you'll be able to click it then we're able to see how many products are being assigned this simple attribute we can add more let's say we'll do blue the same thing under the slug again blue then add new color and i think you get the point i will add some more colors so after we've configured some colors now let's go back to our attributes by pressing this attributes. Once we're in our attributes, we can create a new attribute. Let's add size attribute. So the same thing here with the color, just add here size and then enable archives. If you want to custom ordering, I'll be leaving it as it is and then add attribute. Now let's configure them also. And then right here, let's do small or let's do extra small. Let's do small, medium. And I think you get the point here. Once it's done on the right from the count, you'll be able to see here we have those little horizontal lines. You can see that it starts with large medium small extra large extra small extra extra large and extra 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 large what happens is when it is ordered like that the same thing would be showing up to your users and you don't want it to look when it's out of order i will show you what i mean in a few minutes once we will configure our attributes and variations inside our product so first of all let's reorder them so what you want to do is click on those three horizontal lines and just drag and drop them wherever you want to so let's put the small as the first one then medium but above the small let's put the extra small then we have extra small small medium large extra large extra extra large and then extra 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 large you don't need to do anything more than that let's head over back to our attributes and inside our attributes the same thing you can do with colors i won't bother you with it i think you got the point and now you'll be able to see here that is set it up as it should be so let's head over back to our 
product in this little tab. Before we add anything here, one thing that I love about these updates about WooCommerce, it is using Ajax. And if you're not familiar with Ajax, it basically does things in the background to make your life easier. Back in days, what you would need to do is save the product, refresh, and then you'll be able to see those attributes. This belongs to the past. Now, once you're created the attributes in a new tab and you jump in this tab, you'll be able to see here we have color and size. So let's add color. And now it added up automatically all those colors. Let's say you don't want all those colors. So you can select none or select all of them. These are two options are available for you. And let's say I want to let's skip. I don't want yellow. I want only the black, red and white because that pool has all of them. I think I just do it because I think it suits it. Now we have one thing that I haven't talked about. We have a create value. So let's say that you don't want to go to the attributes and then create it there and then jump back over to your product and then save it and do all this thing. It takes a lot of time, especially when you have a big shop, right? So what WooCommerce created, and I think it is great and can save you a lot of time is create a value. So let's say you click this button, you can create a value and then it will automatically will fill up the attribute right over here and right over here. So let me give you an example. Let's say I want to create the attribute green. So we put here green, then hit OK, and then we'll add the green right over here. Now, if we will go back to the attributes and then hit here, as you might be able to see here, it did not get the green right over here. So if we'll refresh, we'll be able to see here that we have green right over here. Isn't that great? So let's head over back to our product. And right over here, I would remove it because I don't, I don't want to sell this shirt in green. I don't think it would look cool, but it's my own preferences. Maybe I'm wrong, but we have color. So make sure those little boxes, both of them are checked. Why? Because it will be visible on the product page and used for variations. Once it is used for variations, you'll be able to see that on the variations tab, it will appear right over there and we'll be able to use those values. But before that, make sure you save the attributes. Once it is done, let's head over to variations and then you'll be able to see here, we have this little arrow to generate variations or add them manually. So I usually do generate variations. Yes, we have this little pop-up or notice. Do you want to generate all variations? This will create new variations for each and every possible combination of variation attributes. Maximum is set to 50 per run. In other words, it means if you have more attributes, let's say you have three attributes at the moment, it will create only three variations for this little shirt. But if you have more, it will iterate between all of them. Let's say you have three attributes inside color and then three in the size. So it will create three of them. But if you have more of them, then it will create even more. So let's see that in action. Let's hit OK. And we're able to see here black, red and white. So let's say I'm creating small, medium and large. So it will create black, medium, red, medium, white, medium. And then again, it will create large, black, black, large, red, large, white, and then small black, small red, small white. So in general, you would have a nine products. If you're looking only on the colors, you have only three variations of them. I'll show you in a minute what I mean. So you won't be confused because usually I love to see those things when they're visible to the eye. So let's say we have black. What I did here, I just clicked on this little line over here under the black. We have the option to create or upload a specific image when we're talking about colors, as you might be able to see here. It is in black. So I'll put the black image to this attribute or this variation. Let's say I want to sell this t-shirt at 35 bucks and I want to make a sale in let's do 10 bucks off. Yeah. 25 bucks. Keep it as in stock and then wait. I don't need that. All right. Good. So yeah, while this is good, if you don't have many variations, but if you want to configure all of them at once, what you want to do is head over or at this button add price. And then over here, let's add 35 and then add prices and now, although I've configured only the black variation, it will configure also the red and white, but it will configure only the regular price. So make sure you add the sell price later. So let's do 25 right over here, then white 25. So we've set that up. Now, save changes. So those changes will be saved also in the front end. So the users will see and be able to choose those options. Publish those changes. Obviously, if you want to publish this t-shirt or this product, the next thing what you want to do is visit the product and see those 
these variations in action. So we have cool t-shirt. Now disregard this very simple template. I haven't configured it yet, but as you might be able to see here, we have this little drop down with the color. Choose an option. We have black, red, and white. Now, what happens if we'll choose another attribute? Let's go back to our product, then add the attribute of size. So let's do size, then let's do small, medium, and large. Great. Let's remove all of these ones. We have small, medium, and large, then save those attributes. Great. Let's go to our variations. And then we will see here that we have the new dropdown field. We have small, then we have medium, and then large. Now, yeah, I know I've did a mistake here, but again, I think you get the point. We have small and we have again small. Now we'll have to create six more of them because we have black, red, and white. You would want to reconfigure or redo all of them. What I do here, I basically remove all of them. Yeah, I want to remove it. Let's remove this. Great. Let's remove that. Generate variations. Now, yes. Now we'll do okay. And then it will generate all of them. You can see black, 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 small, medium, large, red, small, medium, large, white, small, medium, large. Now we can add the price here. Let's do 35 as we did before at prices. Now, as you might be able to see here, all the prices has been populated, but only the regular prices. Everything is at 35. And then you'll be able to add the sale price if you want to, or if you wish to. This is done. Great. So let's update it. And then let's see our product inside the front end as the user might be able to see. So let's do here. Let's hit refresh. And then we're able to see here we have the color and we have this size We have black, red, and white. So let's do, let's say, for example, black, and then let's choose the medium. And we're able to see here it's at 35. It's no longer on sale because I haven't set the sale. As you remember, I've totally disregarded the sale. And yeah, that's pretty much how you can configure a variable product on WooCommerce. So if you like this video, I'll be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any other tutorials on WooCommerce, Elementor, or WordPress. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.